Hi everyone and welcome back. In today's video I'm going to be doing a drawing tutorial and I'm going to be showing you guys how I draw lips. And before I get started I just want to quickly say that my style of drawing lips is very stylized. It's uh, cartoony so if, if you're looking for a realistic tutorial on how to draw lips then this video may not be so helpful. But a lot of you guys have requested a video on, uh, on lips so I'm going to be showing you how I approach drawing lips and it's very stylized. So what I do is when I start out, um, just for basic lips, I start out like this, I go up and over. So I draw like this kind of curved line and then for the top lip I draw like this and I have to bear in mind here um, some of my lines may be a little wonky because I'm drawing round the tripod so um, it's not an excuse I'm just letting you know sometimes I'm sort of twisting the paper up to see if I've got that kind of right. So that's basically how I draw female lips and then I might go ahead and I'll do my shading and for shading for lips I just go like this and I leave shine in the center my darkest is on the darkest on the two sides top and bottom of the lip and shine in the center and that's more or less how I draw lips now there are lots of uh, variations to this sometimes I'll come up and then make a little indent and then down you might see a lot of people doing that and then I go ahead and I draw the top lip like this and then I just draw a line for the bottom lip. Now you could go ahead, if you're doing this, you could go ahead and join all the lines up. I like to leave them separate because when I go ahead and I colour, I will um, I will colour all that in so the lines will join up but I much prefer having them separate. I, I like the, the look of it and um, let me see what else. So when I'm drawing open lips Again, I have that cur that kind of hill. I sort of draw a hill, then I draw two little mountains, which are the top of the lips, and then I draw. If I'm if I'm drawing the lips open, slightly open, I draw a little line like that, and then the bottom lip like this. And in there is normally white, so I'll colour the top lip and the bottom lip in with pink or red or purple or whatever colour the lips are. But in there will be white, and then if I'm drawing the lips. Uh, further open so I, I have my hill my two little mountains and then I draw the mouth wider and then I'll draw the bottom lip uh, thinner because the mouth is open and sometimes I'll draw the you can I'll draw the tongue in as well depending on what I want and that's basically what I do I draw and the way that I think of it is a hill two mountains and then a curved line at the bottom. Now there are lots of other ways that you can draw lips of course. Sometimes um, varying the lips can can be one of those ways that you get different. Um, sometimes if you're stuck in a same, same face syndrome where every time you draw a face it's very similar, varying the eyes and the lips can really make a difference. So sometimes I'll just I'll just draw a line on top. I won't do the little hills. I'll just draw a line like that and I'll make the bottom lip thinner. And then sometimes you can put little uh, little indents for the smile, and sometimes you might uh, you might see people do very simple lips. So sometimes you might just see someone do that, and so often you don't need more than that. I really like uh, like it when you just draw very simple lips. And for men, I often end up just drawing lips like that because if you give them uh, thicker lips, uh, they end up looking uh, like a girl. I don't know why, but that happens. I find drawing uh, male features very hard anyway. Um, every, every time I draw one, they kind of look like a girl. Other types of lips that are very stylized, you could do sort of um, almost kawaii type lips where you just have, you know, with a tongue sticking out like that, or you might do um, one that has, you know, their teeth hanging over the top. And for kawaii faces, they're very simple, so they're just like little smiles. Sometimes it's just like that. That is the lips or the mouth on a kawaii face. So you can really sort of adjust and find a style that suits you. Uh, continuing like these ones, sometimes I'll draw a line like this if I'm drawing a lips to the side. I'll draw like that and like this. Actually, I think if I if I just quickly uh, 
draw it on a face, you'll see what I mean. So for a straight on face, one that's like this, a profile, uh, not a profile, a uh, face on, I will place the lips, I would normally do them like this. So the no I have the nose, the eyes and the lips. If I'm doing a profile view, which is from the side, I come down like this, there's the nose, then I'll go out, in, out, in, and then uh, have the, the chin. Now normally I have to rub this out several times to get it right, but that's more or less what I do. And then I'll come down like that for the lips, and sometimes I'll just bulk the little the bottom lip out a bit, and that's the lips. And then you have the eye here, and that's the nose. And then there's the lips. So that's what I'll do on a profile. And when you have it, when you have the head slightly turned, like this, and I have the cheek coming down like that. So I have basically like that. I'll have the nose. And then for the lips on this, I'll start like this. I'll just start the normal way. But what I do is I make one side smaller than the other. So I'll have a tiny little thing, a tiny little dip, then the hill, then a longer tail. And then I'll put like this. And then I'll have the bottom lip coming out like that. So I'll just draw that a bit bigger so you can see when, it, when, it's, uh, when someone's um, looking to the side like that. When it's not a face on, I have a little dip and then a longer tail. A longer end. It's because the face is slightly twisted. And then I have one mountain, another mountain, and then I just sort of taper that down. And then I have the bottom lip curved like that. And that's how I do the um, the three quarter face view profile, um, face on and profile for lips. And you can really do whatever you like. Sometimes if I'm doing children um, or a little girl, I don't give her big pouty lips like this, I'll just draw that like this and put, I put the tongue, sometimes you might you know put a line for the teeth and that would be that. You can really experiment and draw however you like and adjusting the lips is one way of making your characters very different, it's part of their sort of individual characteristics and stylization. so sometimes I'll uh, lengthen lips so instead of drawing a hill you can just draw a line and you can make them much sort of longer and flatter like this. It really depends on what you're going for. But that, but the, the, this is basically how I draw the lips on all my characters that you see. But there are loads of ways that you can adjust it to suit your own style and you can have a lot of fun and there's no one right way of drawing lips. If you're going for stylization, you can do whatever you like and really experiment. They can be very simple, just a tiny little smile line or they can be you can make really big sort of pouty um, shaded lips so it's entirely up to you anyway so that's how I do it I hope you found this video helpful if you have any questions feel free to leave them down in the comments below and remember to uh, leave if, there, if there's a tutorial you'd like to see coming up then make sure you leave a suggestion in the comments below I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see you next time